All right, if you remember, we said the division rule is a function, R is a function which maps every uh, claims problem into some uh, non-negative vector of n dimension, right? Um, well, we want this to be a specific or a function which satisfies some nice properties. So the first four properties, we already mentioned some of them, we just did not name them. Uh, we want that every of, uh, I mean, all of our rules satisfy them uh, default. So what does that mean? Well, the feasibility, okay? Well, it means basically you cannot distribute a surplus, I'm sorry, you cannot award uh, agents something that is not available, all right? So your sum of the award vector. Remember, this is RICE is basically, or RCE for any claims problem, RCE is a vector, a, an award vector. So who is gonna get how much? And so the summation I from one to N, RICE, basically tells me the total award we are giving to those N agents. Well, this shouldn't exceed what's available. I'm sorry, what's available to them. So that's feasibility, okay? Efficiency is, well, you shouldn't leave any surplus on the table. Uh, basically, you should, uh, uh, you should, the award, the total award must be exactly equal to the total surplus available, all right? So we want every R to satisfy these two assumptions. On top of that, non-negativity, which we mentioned, remember, every individual should be getting non-negative surplus award, and claim boundedness, we just give this name, uh, basically means no agent cannot, uh, no agent uh, should get more than what he claims or she claims, okay? So again, uh, we assume that a rule, a division rule, is a function mapping Cn to Rn plus satisfying those four properties. On top of those four, we want the uh, you know, rules satisfy some other properties. Well, one of them is called respect of minimal rights. Um, well, in some sense, this is individual rationality uh, kind of assumption, axiom, if you will. What does it say? It says for any claim problem and for any agent, uh, his or her award should be greater than or equal to the max of these two terms, whatever or whichever is the biggest, well, his award or her award must be greater than or equal to that one. Well, what are these two terms? Well, on the one, it's zero. On the other, it should be, it is E minus summation J coming from N minus I. So basically, all the other players' claims except player I. So we sum all the other players claim and then subtract it from the surplus. So if it is positive, obviously this max is going to be this. If it is negative, well, then it should be positive. I'm sorry, zero, because remember, we are looking division rules, which will always give non-negative number. All right. So what does that mean? That means, for example, if the claim problem is such that we are going to split $200, between uh, three agents, and the claims are as follows, 100, 50, and 200, okay? So as you see, uh, it is a, a, a claim problem because the total claim exceeds the surplus. Well, here, what we can see is that when you, for example, look at player three's point of view, well, his a word should be, I don't know what it is, it depends on the rule that we will define, obviously, but it says if it satisfies uh, respect of minimal rights property, well, then the third player should be getting higher than or equal to, well, what is E200 minus the sum of the other two players' 
uh, claim, which is 100 plus 50, 150. So therefore, it's 50 comma 0. The max of this is 50. So therefore, the third player's claim should be a word, I'm sorry, must be at least 50. All right. So basically, remember, what's the idea? The first guy and the second guy claim 150 of this money. All right. So the remaining 50 is unclaimed. So therefore, the whatever rule you use, uh, well, this property says, well, it should not give this agent less than 50. If it does, that's weird, right? I mean, because it, 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 in a sense, it means, uh, you know, you are giving one of the other agents more than his claim. Okay. So it's kind of an implication of uh, those properties. Uh, so it's not coming out of blue. Well, what about the other two agents? For example, what is R1, uh, the minimum? Well, R1, the first agent, uh, he's going to look at the sum of the other two agents. It's 250. So 200 minus 250, it's minus 50. But the maximum of minus 50 and 0 is 0. So therefore, it says, well, R1 can be any number, non-negative. R2, well, the same thing. Because player 1 and 2's, uh, threes, I'm sorry, the total claim is 300, so 200 minus 300 is minus 100, which is less than zero. So therefore, this should also be equal to zero. So if a rule satisfies respect of minimal rights, for this specific problem, it has to obey these. Uh, but obviously, respect of minimal rights says for any claims problem, this has to hold. Okay?